What is going on everyone, it's Andrew, we're back again with another video, and in this one today we'll be talking about updates, and uh, in my opinion I think Ubisoft should do a lot more updates in, uh, in on to Rainbow Six Siege, so we're, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Alright, so my whole thing for the updates uh, in this video is, I think they should do two week updates. Now the two week updates can be like buffs or nerfs if they feel necessary, bug fixes, or even just playlist updates honestly. They could really do whatever they want with these updates and I feel like it could keep the game a lot more alive and more casual and all that kind of stuff just to keep people you know playing their game which I think they kind of need to be honest over you know all these all this time with new games coming out and other games you know becoming better than theirs and all that kind of stuff but yeah for the playlist updates they should rotate the game modes in like we had golden gun rotate that in the legacy maybe rainbows magic you can put back in there the showdown 3v3 one that was a really good one there were a lot of good ones I probably can't remember. Like the Halloween ones were pretty good. Um, the Sugar Fright was pretty good in my opinion. But I feel like they should just rotate these in. Now for the events, they're like month long things. You know, they're pretty long periods of time. I think these should be consistently changing like two weeks. You know, like two weeks, one's in. Then the next two weeks, one's out. You know, keep the game a lot more fresh and stuff. And we'd get these, you know, uh, events back that everyone wants so badly for a certain amount of time, which would get people back on the game. Especially if the people know there was a set rotation for these. It would be really cool in my opinion because then people would know what uh, event they want to play that is in the game at that current moment. And I think you could keep having new events, you know, maybe like for a month you have a new event and you don't rotate the things in anymore, which I could see happening, you know, with the alpha packs and all that stuff. But if you bring these back, obviously you wouldn't bring back any of the skins, you would just have the game mother to play. I think this would raise a lot more casual people trying to come back. And like, because I feel like the game right now is a lot towards competitive. And like ranked and stuff and trying to get champ and all that kind of stuff but i feel like for the casuals and stuff we should get these playlist changes back in the game every two weeks add a new one in i think it could really work and add a lot more people playing the game and buying you know the the um the battle pass and like the skins and stuff all that kind of stuff they could put back into the game i think would be really smart for them but then like one update they could do bug fixers or something like that i think that would help the game out a lot because I, I as people should know there's a lot of problems with the game uh, as of now with bugs and glitches and all that kind of stuff. So you could definitely fix that in the two weeks. And even if they felt necessary to maybe nerf or buff some of the operators, I could definitely see happening. If an operator, you know, comes out or whatever, and it's like a month it's overpowered or, you know, or for like something happens, like a glitch happens, they patch it instantly. I think the thing they can do, because like I know when Fortnite was in its prime, they had weekly updates all the time, new skins, all that kind of stuff. I know the new Call of Duty's kind of doing this. They're they're updating their game like crazy, and I know a lot of up, other games are updating like crazy. I think League of Legends is kind of doing like a three week update, I think, or like a month update. They're they're doing they're doing some pattern, which is honestly really good for the game, and you know keeps the player base engaged and all that kind of stuff. So I think it could work in Siege, um, especially when you're only making one operator. And we don't get that many updates per season. I even checked. On like on like the Liquidpedia R6, which is like technically the esports stuff, but they do have all the updates, and the max updates we ever got was four, and that was Operation Health. This year we got three. I think a Neon Dawn we got like three updates, but like I I, I don't know. I think those may, might just be the main updates. Still, I think these should, could could still be main updates, especially people getting buffed and nerfed. Um, on you know buffed and nerfed um, throughout the season seeing how they go like up or down and pick rate and win rate and ban rate and all that kind of stuff. I don't know, I think it would really help the game in longevity and you know, it'd be easy to patch things and fix them so you don't gotta wait three months or a month and a half for a new season or you know, mid-season mid reinforcements and all that kind of stuff. I think it would just keep the game a lot more alive, a lot more casual based, all that kind of stuff. Cause in my opinion, I don't really wanna play the game. There's, I have no incentive to play the game cause I'm, I don't want to hit champ. Um, I, I just don't want to play ranked. Like I just don't want to play competitive. I want to play to have fun, which is what I like doing in video games. And I can't really play to have fun when it's all around competitive and it's not really casual base. So it's kind of hard for me, especially with friends, because none of my friends want to play that. They're trying to play the new games that come out. They're actually fun and good. I play like the new Call of Duty. I know that's fun. We'd be playing that a lot. But you know, Siege, we used to play it a lot because it was fun and casual not super competitive now even if you're playing casual you still have to clear like 18,000 gadgets on the map like no one no one wants to do that that's why i like the legacy playlist because you don't have to clear 18,000 gadgets on the map that thing you don't have to worry about echoes maestros 
um, lesions, Ella's, uh, Anaru's gadget, uh, who else? You don't have to worry about, um, maybe you don't have to worry about all those annoying operas, you really don't want to be there. And, you know, that's what makes the game fun, you know? You just want to kind of run and gun, you just want to get as many kills as you can, I think that makes the game fun. But not when you have to deal with so much other stuff, you know? And that's why I really like the events, because, you know, the 3v3 mode, that was really fun, new map, new concept. All that kind of stuff because you had the 3v3 showdown you know it was a new map there's new terrain all that kind of stuff is really fun to play actually i really like that one with the magnum pistol and then sugar fright was fun they made a new map for it they got the they got the r4c a kai back i really wish you'd get all the weapons in that game i think that would be really cool i think that should just be its own game mode to be honest or like their practice mode since it's already made i think they should do something like that anyways let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do well, you agree with my idea of the two-week updates or you don't really like it let me know honestly because i'd really like to know what you guys think anyways if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like comment subscribe i'll see you guys on sunday peace out everyone